He lumped himself in the same as all space engineers. Now, yes, I am very well aware that I have not. I did not do a video last week. As I suppose a few people might actually be wondering, I have a once a week thing, why was there not one last week? In simple terms, uh, Warframe had a huge update, at least in my opinion, it was a relatively big update. Uh, and that's where I've been spending nearly all of my time. And because of that, I have not obviously been doing an engineers or anything else at the moment. Although I'll get back to that obviously in, in due course. Now, I'm going to start doing a another sort of, I suppose for lack of a term, subcategory of these engineers videos, uh, which I'll just simply probably go on some of the other lines of miscellaneous builds as sometimes I do okay like some people when they're I suppose bored they I don't know get some paper and doodle something uh, for me if I'm in engineers and just I go for lack of a term I suppose I'm brainstorming um, I'll be building random things uh, I mean I have a few um, examples of like random <coughs> random uh, structures up here that you know I've not done anything with yet like weird ship things I was working on so you know I'm kind of virtually doodling here um, but anyway miscellaneous builds I will just have um, every so often when I've got a bunch of things that don't really fall into any kind of noteworthy category on their own or they're just something I've made uh, that are probably not like worthy of a video all of their own but instead of me just making it and then sort of realizing it looks weird and deleting it I'll just bu bundle them together and just show a bunch of them off at once no doubt someone might see something I've made and maybe gets inspired to do something similar to what I've done, copy it, or or do something completely different, but they just I just reminded them of something. I don't know. Um, so anyway, yes, I have a handful of things to show you here. Technically, I've got this station, I've got that boat, a couple ships there, and one over there. So anyway, I'll start off with this mini station, as this was going to be like another uh, variant of like, well, we had Outpost Theta over there, I've shown you Outpost Whiskey, you know, going <clears throat> going down in size and obviously keeping some degree of functionality. This one, I didn't get around to naming it, but I was basically trying to go for an even more bare bones station, something that, you know, literally uh, could be um, a glorified starting station or, you know, first outpost uh, in space. And, and really, you can kind of see it's, you know, as far as it's concerned, it is similar in Outpost Theta design just because of the whole you know, ribbing going on here, which, you know, same with, um, in, in Theta and Whiskey, uh, but all in all, it is a simple survival station, so I may as well just show you around, uh, quickly in size. I have a few things to get through, um, a couple of lockers and stuff here. Now, I do still, I always pick, pick, um, holes, literally, in Engineers' logic here, but that is apparently an airtight seal. You know, go figure. Let's get inside. I don't actually need my headlights on. Um, all in all, it is a very simple thing here, it's like cargo assemblers, um, the oxygen generation thing. Uh, up in here, pretty much a little bit of everything here, the survival kits, um, hydrogen storage, oxygen storage. Uh, we're currently actually, I, th I think we're only powered by this hydrogen engine. I, I can't honestly remember, this particular station has been around in this world for a long time. <laughs> and I've kind of forgotten half of what I built. Um, and a couple of little sort of crew area, I suppose, a little bar, kitchen thing, lockers and stuff like that. So that's basically this station. Kind of a little random thing I ended up just making. Um, oh yeah, bathroom and uh, armories under here, I forgot about that. Um, but, you know, just something small I yeah, made, but I don't know. I just didn't really... Th it didn't seem like too special of a station to, you know, continue with the outposts, the various outposts that I made, but hey, that's that's the thing. Um, anyway, uh, this mining ship, this was just something I kind of just pulled out of my butt uh, virtually here, because I've shown you this mini guy here, I don't know, don't know why, what did I even call this? Like the micro muncher, some very, you know, using a couple mods, an ultra small uh, little miner uh, that can actually go on planets to some degree, depending on their gravity, but, you know, it does what a mining ship does, in this case it's just an insanely compact design, um, and I decided to upscale it, uh, I suppose making its bigger brother, and really, the only ma big difference is you can, if you imagine, like if you look at the um, the ship from the front, you know, take that rough shape, turn it 90 degrees in its current um, position, it's basically what I've done here, so instead of just like a simple, you know, drill either side, it now has basically top and bottom, which means it's a lot more symmetrical of a design, and obviously it has more feet, more drills, more, you know, cargo capacity, and it's kind of self-explanatory what this thing has, um, has to offer here, but, um, yeah, that's just a mining ship I ended up just making, and I'm throwing it in the miscellaneous video, because, I don't know, kind of don't want to just delete it and just forget I made it, but, hey, some small miner I made. Speaking of miners, I'll go to Whiskey here, um, and I made this guy. Now this was 
obviously another mining ship, but I was trying to go for a specific design and to be honest, the more I built it, the less it kind of um, kept that design. And all I was really going for was I kind of wanted, like, in this case, the industrial cockpit and essentially this, think of a beetle's shell uh, back to it. Um, basically then, once you had that, like, top shell, I kind of wanted the components sort of underneath it. Um, I don't know, this is, like I said, the design itself, it was just something I was just trying to pull out of my head. And, I say, the more I built it, it kind of didn't go that direction. Um, because even, like, as I was putting more and more stuff in here, it did actually, like, the whole body kind of did fill out a lot. So, the shape itself didn't quite work out, but it actually does have a lot of, um, storage, as you'd expect. There's, like, two medium containers, and utilizing the back plate, I suppose. Um, lots of small containers. Um, connector at the back and all the usual stuff, and yeah, I mean, it's a mining ship, it's certainly more capable than the little mini ones, but that was just something something I built, and you know, like I said, throwing it in the miscellaneous video. And the final thing here is a literal ship. <laughs> now, I, okay, I think I probably said, mentioned this a few videos ago, so we're talking several weeks actually, um, and I was, I suppose, you know, I was re-watching uh, just in my spare time, which admittedly is all the time, um, a lot of the Pirates of the Caribbean, and I was thinking to myself, what if I just made a, a fleet of ship-shaped ships in Engineers? Certainly a concept that's not really been, um, I mean, it has been done before, uh, and I've got to be honest with you, this is the only ship that came out of that sort of brief period where I was, like, making something, and, and this is, this was going to be, and kind of is, you can see, the smallest um, ship of the bunch here, and all in all, it it's actually not too bad. I mean, I say it's not too bad. I mean, for something I just sort of threw together, it works. It has a fully fledged interior, actually, surprisingly, in this small um, body here. Although, there are some things like the, um, you just have a standard cockpit for the uh, front here, so we don't have any kind of, like, um, bridge, I suppose. But, you know, you don't, you, like, you look at it, it doesn't look like you can actually fit much in there. And admittedly, you can't, but, you know, we even have um, a couple guns here, just one front. Um, turret. Now, if I actually hop inside here, if I didn't get stuck on that, um, jump on down here. The interior itself, I mean, for a tiny little ship, quote unquote, it, it seems to work. It worked, well, to me, it worked out alright. It's like got things like basic assembler. There is a basic refinery, I think, at the bottom here. Actually, is there? Maybe there isn't. Um, but yeah, two two beds. We've got some lockers. I probably went a bit over the top with the whole wood effect. <laughs> Admittedly, the, these things didn't really need to be made out of wood, but. Yeah, you know, I'm lazy. I pick a texture and I kind of roll with it for the entire ship. Um, but say a little bit of everything, you know, cargo, uh, count, count, kitchen counters, all the usual stuff, toilet, you know, a, a wooden toilet. That's a good point. Do do wooden toilets even exist anymore? That's a, that's a bit of a weird question. Probably someone might answer me in the uh, comments. Who knows? Um, but anyway, uh, that is this little ship. Like I said, something I just sort of... I had bigger plans for it, but this is all that really... Uh, uh, became of it, as it were, just a small, you know, ship, as it were. Um, but anyway, yes, that's about it for these, um, how many are we talking about here? Four miscellaneous builds. Um, like I said, I'm gonna, as and when I make more things that maybe are not quite video-worthy on their own, I'm just gonna put aside and make uh, these miscellaneous videos, um, as I, you know, have stuff to show you. As, in some respects, it's it kind of saves me just spending time making something, realise it's like, it's not video worthy, and then ultimately it does just get deleted in, the, in my creative world. Um, but you get the point here, so yeah, let me know if you think of these um, random objects down below in the comments. Link in the Discord, this is the description as always, and you know the drill by now. So, thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next video.